It's over, VJ. It's over. You're done. Stop this crap, man. You wasted my time. I'm so angry. I'm really angry. I felt for the guy. I was too nice. I do that story in my life. But I was too nice. And this guy, uh, well, he, he shot himself in the foot, to be honest. But um, there it is. BJ is a scam artist and a fraud. Nelson Dulles, four-time USA Memory Champion, says so. Namaskar. I'm BJ Shahi. I'm going to पछिल्लो क्रमिक प्रगति को बारेमा जानकारी कराउन पाउँदा धेरै खुसी छु मैले विगतमा आफ्नो क्षमता प्रस्तुत गर्ने क्रममा यहाँहरु माच संयोग बस बनाऊ या परिबन्धनमा परि भएका मेरा भूलहरुलाई उप्रान्त दोहोर्याउने छैन भने यहाँहरु माझ माफी मागि सकेको छु र अर्को कुरा मलाई नेपाली दर्शक श्रोताहरुले बिजे शाही फेको उले टुनामुना गर्छ उसको जादु भन्दा मलाई दुख लागेको छैन किन भने एक दिन बिजे शाही रियलो भनेर बुझ्नु हुने छ दुख त तब लाग्यो जब अन्तर्राष्ट्रिय मान्छे त्यस माथि पनि चार पटक युएसए मेमोरी च्याम्पियन नेल्सन डेली सरले मलाई खुल्ला चुनौती दिनु भएको थियो मेरो कला र क्षमता माथि उहाँले नाना थरीका टीका टिप्पणी समेत गर्न भ्याउनु भएको थियो त्यति मात्र होइन उहाँले मेरो कला र क्षमतालाई जादु हुन सक्छ हो पनि भन्नु भएको थिएन फेरि जादु हुन सक्छ टुनामुना हुन सक्छ या कुनै उपकरण युज गरेको हुन सक्छ या कसैसँग मिले मत्तोमा भएको हुन सक्छ जस्ता विभिन्न किसिमका आरोप प्रत्यारोप लगाउनु भएको थियो उहाँ सरले र उहाँले चाहिँ मेरो अगाडि डेमो दिनु पर्यो पनि भन्नु भएको थियो the resources to meet each other even through a pandemic and lockdown and he kept messaging me on facebook saying when can we meet when can we do this interview I never for the life of me thought that he would reply after I saw the last set of videos of him being ousted, being discovered, seen as a fraud. I thought that was it. I thought it was a done deal. Why would he want to be interviewed by me? I'm going to make him look like a fool. So his eagerness, I had the time. Let's do it. र त्यसपछि चाहिँ मैले उहाँको भिडियो हेरि सकेपछि उहाँलाई म कुन माध्यम देखि भेट्न सक्छु कसरी भेट्न सक्छु भनेर म एकदमै विचलित भइरहेको थिएँ विचलित हुने क्रममा उहाँ स्वयं सगरमाथा चढ्नका लागि नेपाल आउनु भयो र नेपाल आइसकेपछि उहाँसँग भेट भयो भेट भइसकेपछि उहाँ सामु मेरो अनि कि आफ्नो क्षमता प्रत्यक्ष देखाउन सफल भए र उहाँ त्यसपछि चाहिँ उहाँ मेरो कला र क्षमतामा विश्वस्त हुनु भयो हो रहेछ है विजय साई रियल रहेछ भई भने बुझ्नु भयो त उहाँले पनि पहिला आफ्नो भिडियो बनाउँदाखेरि त्यतिखेर पनि उहाँले फेक यो चाहिँ भन्नु भएको थिएन विजय साई रियल हो भने मेरो मेरो अगाडि डेमो दिनु पर्यो भन्नु भएको थियो र त्यति दिसकेपछि उहाँ एकदम खुसी हुनु भयो ढुक्क हुनु भयो विजय साई रियल रहेछ भनेर बुझ्नु भयो अनदर बीजे शाही भिडियो आई एम सो सरी ऑलराइट लेट मी जस्ट कम आउट एंड से इट आई गॉट स्कैम्ड बाय बीजे शाही आई एंड आई विल प्रूव इट इन दिस भिडियो दैट विदाउट अ डाउट शो दैट दिस वाज अ स्कैम and that BJ is full of crap from this person's commentary. So he says here that, uh, you know, 
the divine power is a lot of what BJ explains his powers or skills to be. And here they're saying that that's actually not quite what he said in past interviews. I didn't know that. Um, very interesting to me. If, if I knew that, I would have drilled him a little harder on that question. I don't like that answer. It doesn't sit well with me. It's such a cop out. Like, come on. Also, another person said that when I asked him, when did you realize you had this power? And he said, two years. I thought he meant when, since he was two years old, which would have been a little more reasonable. Okay, it's a God-given gift. Great. Okay, you were born with it. Cool. But I think from my misunderstanding, it's actually two years ago, which to me is absurd. Like you don't just, unless you're hit in the head by a baseball bat, uh, your brain somehow gets injured, that you suddenly realize you have this ability. It doesn't happen like that. Uh, bang. And here even, if you were to look, I think in her backside pocket, you can actually see the outline of the phone. So I think the phone is on her. Again, is that, does that really make a difference? I don't think so, but just to point that out. Now, I do remember when this was happening, I was like, come on, dude, wh why are you getting out of the room so many times? What are you up to now? And then when he came back with a little um, Kalima trinket, um, I was like, okay, he's playing on this religious thing. This is important to him. I don't know, but it was uncomfortable for me to see him get out of the room so much. I didn't like that. I was like, what is he planning, you know? Yeah, you do this. yeah this one, 269. First of all, hands, instead of he wrote, this person wrote hand. If you heard hands like you did there, you would have written the S, no? He felt the mountain seeped underneath him, the wall of rocks proving. The wall of rocks, he says, right? But here it says the wall rock. Okay. Of the downhill. Side of the tent was collapsing, the tent. He said was collapsing, and that doesn't even show here. It says of washing, cry flying, or whatever this says. So of washing, where did that come from? Again, I'm trying to remember what happened exactly, but I think that I ripped it into the seam of the book, right? Meaning the perforated edge was still there, okay? Now you can see it's clearly uneven, right? But if you look at this frame, I'm gonna screenshot it. You can actually see the perforated edge, okay? Now, why is that important? Well, when he's doing his thing for the 30 minutes that I'm not looking, there's a possibility that he evened it out, right? He just pulled the paper off uh, so that it was perfect. There is that possibility. I'm not gonna rule that out. I can see myself, I'm a perfectionist. If I saw that uneven edge and I was just kind of sitting there trying to remember something out of boredom, I could see myself very well um, evening out an uneven side like that. Totally reasonable. Again, I never saw, where did the paper go? Maybe put it in this pocket, like the, the shreds that came off the side, I don't know. But I agree, this is not the same jagged edge as the one of the paper that I have, right? There, it's perfectly, almost perfect here, right? So there's a noticeable dog ear at the bottom corner that does not exist here. Now the thing about paper, when you fold it, those creases do not come out. They are there for eternity. I mean, unless I'm wrong, right? Somebody prove me wrong. If you make a fold in a paper, can you get that fold out as if it had never happened? I don't think you can do that in the standard, you know, school A4 piece of paper, whatever you want to call it. Physicist out there, am I wrong? Uh, I don't care how much, you know, I've been having this paper stuck in this hardcover book pressed, right? So maybe it was massaged out. You would still see a vague line somewhere on the sheet if that was the case. If you, s I'll play it a couple times. So he just turned it over to write again. He had taken a pause. So look, a little slower there, flip it over. If I stop it, right here, zoom in, look at that, right? I draw a little line, that shows, it's, I can't read what it is, right? It's, it's still too blurry, but I can tell for sure, with certainty, 100%, that that first word, and all it looks like most of the lines there that he's written so far, are a decent amount of space away from that margin line, right? Shown in red here. That is undeniable, that's, it's not touching the line, right? There's like a little gap there. Am I crazy? No. This is what he gave me. Yeah. No gap whatsoever. And deny that. It's over, VJ. It's over. You're done. Stop this crap, man. You wasted my time. 
I'm so angry. I'm really angry. I felt for the guy. I was too nice. I do that story in my life. But I was too nice. And this guy, uh, well, he, he shot himself in the foot, to be honest. But um, there it is. BJ is a scam artist and a fraud. Nelson Dulles, four-time USA Memory Champion, says so.